Hi, and welcome to a short video about how to get started on the Module 5 project for our class. That's going to be the quilt so crowdsourced quilts project. Crowdsourced quilts. You're the crowd, and you come up with the design. And what we're making is a sort of patchwork graphical design that resembles a traditional quilt. Now, we have uh, graphics examples that you did in Python already in an earlier project. But this one we're going to do in JavaScript, which lends itself actually very nicely to this sort of thing. I'm looking at Module 5 in, the, in our Canvas course, and a couple of things I want to point out right off the bat. First of all, uh, this is the assignment on which you will actually submit your code uh, at the end. This is the instructions, which you're going to need to read. You know, we'll see those in just a minute. Some sample shapes to get you started as far as you know, thinking about what kind of block you might make to use in the quilt you're making. And then there are two discussion forums, one for part A and one for part B. In part A, you post your block design, you, you claim it at first, you post a sketch or you post the output of your block. And in part B, we're gonna put the actual, you pick and choose blocks from other students as well as yourself and put them together into a final assembly. I think this will make more sense when you actually see the graphical examples in the next video. But first let's take a look at the uh, Sample quilt block shapes. I'm going to open this PDF. I hope. There we go. And you look through here, this just shows you some of the designs that you can code to make a one block for the quilt. Uh, you don't have to use these colors. You can use any colors you want. Uh, these are just for illustration. Uh, and this shows you how they're each composed out of simple shapes that you can draw using the commands that are available in P5JS. So we won't go through all these. You can look through them at your convenience. You can also come up with your own blocks, but this is something to get you started. Look at the directions. Uh, I had to put the directions in a PDF because they're, the bad news is they're kind of long. The good news is I think there's a lot of background information in there that you can use to complete this project successfully. And I'll go over a little bit of this in the video. So let's open that PDF. And this is what you should read to, through. It tells you um, a lot about what you will be learning by doing this project. I think you will enjoy the project because I think it's a fun project. Graphical projects are usually fun, and this one's got some twists where you interchange materials, kind of like we did with the scenarios that I think most students will like. You get to produce some of your own creative output and post it. You get to take other people's creative output and reuse it. So it's all done on this website, p5js.org. So the good news is you don't need any additional uh, development tools. You don't need to install anything. All you need is a modern web browser. I've tested this under Chrome and Firefox. Pretty sure it also works under Safari and Edge. I haven't tested the latter two. You do all your editing, running, compiling, de there's no compiling, debugging in the browser. So let's take a quick look. Here's an example of a quilt that's been made up out of multiple blocks. If you look at the little red dot in the corner, you'll see that's just there to show you where the blocks in. So this is a block. This is a block, this is a block, this is a block. And this block here is the same as this block here, except it's rotated. The colors are reversed. So there's a lot of potential for making different shapes from one fundamental shape just by adjusting the colors. So this is how to get started. And we're gonna, I'm going to cover this in a little more detail in the next video. Uh, you're going to start by using the P5JS editor. Creating a free account for yourself that you can use there to save your work in the cloud, which is much more convenient. So uh, I'll be back in the next video to help you get started with this project.